Hey, babe, the internet is good now. I think we're live. All Same. right. <laughs> Costa Rica jungle internet coming through, guys. Let us know if we are on the line. Say hi when you guys jump on. Let us know if everything is working good. Yeah, where are you tuning in from? How you guys doing? Amazing 2021 coming through. There you are. Yes. Hello, Ooh, family. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Guys, every time to activate the internet, it's kind of like a whole mission here. But it's like every time we have a beautiful intention with technology, the technology goes. <laughs> <laughs> the other day in the cacao ceremony, whoever was there, right? We're in a full meditation in the highest of the highest, and then bye bye. It just left. Exactly. So that's how it rolls here. That's the prize of Costa Rica jungle. Yeah, say hi. Let us know where you're tuning in from, guys. Hi from the UK. Yeah. Hi from the Philippines. What's up, beautiful souls? Amazing. Okay, I'm going to share this across here as well. Let's see. Okay, British Columbia, Canada. I love British Columbia. Lived in the Kootenays for a while. Hey, what's up? Luis Miguel. Croatia, beautiful Croatia, yes. Scotland, amazing. Blessings Monica. for 2021. Hey, Valentina. <sighs> Molly from California. Happy New Year's from Portugal. Donata from Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Canada's in the house. Hi, Angela Linda. from Scotland. Amazing. Camila from Poland. Okay, guys, I think uh, we're connecting the world here. We're connecting the world. Yes. The world's connecting us. Pau from Mexico. Hey, Melissa. Hey, from New Zealand. Beautiful Amazing. Guys. Egypt. One Neil of the places Oregon. we were meant to be very soon. I know. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Mary from Holland. Amazing. Lisa from West Sussex, UK. Mm -hmm. Tunisia, Shakira. beautiful. We went to Tunisia, right? Yeah. When was it? A year and a half we ago now. We were going to Tunisia. Oh no, we didn't Spiral go to Tunisia. Day That's right. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> we were meant to be in we Tunisia. We were almost there. <laughs> exactly. Tina from Vancouver. Oh, amazing familia. Sibyl from yeah. France. Diana from USA. Yeah. Whole world. We love you guys too. Connecting right now. Slovenia. <sighs> well, happy New Year. Yay. Happy, happy, happy New so Year. So good to connect with you guys. It's the first time, right? New Year that we have a live appearance. Yes, that's true. It's January 2nd over here right now. I think it's January 3rd for all of you on the other side of the world mm -hmm. in the future. <laughs> yeah, so I'm from good. India, Washington on the line, Ireland's yeah, here. Montreal. Awesome. So good. Waking yeah. up the world together, guys. That's the idea of these live streams that we do. It's like... Let's connect first and all. Let's connect and know that we are connected in the heart and that we are creating a new humanity together mm -hmm. just by the intention, just by being here. And you see our faces and it's like, okay, Regan and Wampa, but it's beyond us. Yeah. It's, it's all of us. And you can see it in the comments, you know, connect with each other in the comments. Let's, let's create a vortex together that goes beyond us teaching something. It's like we're co-creating. Mm -hmm. So we invite you to be super present as much as you can. We invite you to share this live stream also with your, you know, your people, any group that you want to share, anyone you tag in, like that's, you know, the only contribution we ask for this downloads of information that we share with you guys is just, just share it and let's create a bigger vortex so we can wake up humanity at a deeper level together that's uh that's what's happening right now exactly yeah Croatia's on the line. Ooh, even set is here that's so cool yeah it's so nice <laughs> <laughs> nice heather christine alex que pasa hermano long time no see bro <laughs> noel lee Oh, beautiful tribe, huh? Yeah, so let's start tuning in. How was the reset into 2021 for all of you? I know there's been a lot of mixed things for some people. 2020 was a very challenging year. For some people, it was their best year ever for a magnitude of different reasons. So yeah. we just love to know where are you at. There's no right or wrong around that. But just start feeling into really sharing that. You know, it's from a place of 
grounded awareness that you get to shift and rise and accelerate into your new in whatever way that looks like for you but it, it's very challenging to rise into the new if you're not totally raw and real with where you're at so we'd just love to hear from you it might be one word it might be a short phrase where are you actually at right now because mm -hmm. i think 2020 you know for us it, it had its challenges but we really turned so many of those challenges into grand opportunities exactly. and in many ways it, it was a crazy beautiful fantastic year but in a way where we were really pushed to shift and adapt you know like like many of you i know yeah. and so we're really grateful for all of those lessons and all of those challenges and also very excited to be in this new energy now mm -hmm. of 2021 turning that chapter <laughs> yeah 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 so share with us one word mm -hmm. or one phrase about how was 2020 for you you yeah. know, and you know, from a perspective of positivity, you know, like yeah, not just clear focusing. And inspired, ultimate yeah. hope and faith, yeah. absolutely feeling super good. I'm feeling so much love and joy, so Best much gratitude. We have two live streams on, by the way, if yeah. you see us going like this. Incredible, so connected, <laughs> mm -hmm. hopeful. Yeah, feeling pulled to physically free ourselves from systems in 2021. There's great opportunity yes. in the energy right now. Absolutely. Yes. Yes, yeah, so feeling all of you guys feeling thankful, feeling gratitude. L learning a lot about myself. Mm -hmm. Since Jurga. Yeah. Totally. So good, guys. That's yeah. so important to acknowledge, even though it seems hard and you're like, oh my God, what happened really in, in this year? Like so much negativity what's going to happen with the world like you could go in such a drama right mm -hmm. we could get lost in so many stories for sure we would tell you like all the plans we had all the invitations we had it was going to be the best year ever of traveling of speaking engagements of workshops of working with amazing people that were just looking for us like crazy like it, our whole year was scheduled right yeah. as never before right <laughs> and all of a sudden like everything phew, no more. <laughs> Same as you guys, right? So we yeah. did have a little bit of a shock. Mm -hmm. But then how you, you turn that shock into, okay, thank you so much. So this is what's going on. All right. So what is the gift in this? How can we, how can we turn it over and see it as a gift, actually? Yeah. And, and we can tell you that part of, uh, our, for both of us, the, the, the big, one of the biggest learnings in this year, it's like we grounded to rise more. Yeah. Both of us, we can, you, you'll hear us saying it in, in, anywhere. We grounded to rise more because it's really the only way, right? And we were actually going to fly more and thinking that we were going to rise more flying because it was, you know, it was working with, yeah, like really dream groups of people that we've been like open to work with for a long time and now yeah. they're naturally calling us so we're like okay that's it this is it we're working with the highest leaders because when you work with the the leaders that are like impacting more the planet of course you're gonna impact the whole planet so that's where we've been, been aiming to and it was happening so for us that was what rising meant and all of a sudden uh, that's not the way we had to rise we had to ground to rise mm. and that meant buying a land that was what that was going to be like in five years right like yeah we that like, really wasn't planned <laughs> whenever that is we know it's going to happen yeah but it just accelerated that process for us and it made it super fun and it made it like just so in our body so in the present so clear with our purpose with our connection with our bodies and who we are and our relationship and our dogs yeah <laughs> yeah and and nature and uh codes we've been receiving from nature from staying in one place codes we've been receiving from growing our own garden planting our own seeds doing the whole thing ourselves like you receive codes from that connection then flying around all the time everywhere right so yeah. For us, we never would have thought, thought of that, but it has been like one of the biggest gifts I've been, I think, in, in the five years we've been together. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it really has been. We're seeing all of your comments and all of your breakthroughs. And yeah, many of you are really getting this concept around grind, uh, gr grinding, grinding, <laughs> grounding, <laughs> grounding Grind it to down, rise. mama. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ground <laughs> to rise. <laughs> 
which is which is so important. You gotta grind you it gotta to grind rise it more. Out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be going into that deeper today and really looking at practically, tangibly, what does that look like and why is that so important and what are some of the shifts that the planet is going through right now when it comes to where the majority of humanity has been operating versus mm. where we've shifted into in this new cycle and again what that looks like so you can actually make the most of the planetary energies which are available to support you which means you can live in greater flow tap into greater abundance right be in, in div divine synchronicity really with exactly. the truth of what you're here to do and what you're here to manifest and we're really in this beautiful portal right now where for so many people, they're starting to really ask themselves, not just why am I here, but what am I actually put here to do? What am yes. I actually put here to build? And, you know, Wampra and I are constantly asking ourselves, okay, if we had absolutely no limitations and all of the resources, time, money, everything in order to truly fulfill our planetary mission, what would we build? Mm -hmm. What would we do? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it's so beautiful to ask yourselves those questions because it goes beyond your, your personal story, your personal story of like, oh, I want this in my life and I want this house and this, it, it goes beyond all of that. And you start tapping into something that's just so much bigger than yourself and when you yes. truly do that you know your internal limitations they can still pop up but it tends to be easier to shift through them because it's not about you and your personal story right you're connected to the people and the planet that you're put here to impact and help and serve and then when your story comes up of oh that's too much or I'm not enough or that's too hard or I don't have the money or the blah 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 it's a lot easier to to burn through that and release yeah. that when you're connected again to a reason that's so much bigger than just your personal story. And so that's really what we wanted to anchor in and ground with you in today and then look at some options as to how do you practically tangibly do that and how are some of the ways that we're doing that so that we, we can really invite you into a, a planetary conversation. And guess what? When you do that, your personal conversation is more than looked after. Exactly. You know, you find that all the abundance, all your personal desires, needs and wants, God fully looks after you in that way, yes. right? And so it's so beyond like, what can I manifest? What can I do this year? But instead, how can I contribute? And what does this planetary service actually look like? I love that so much. Salute. Salute. Thank Yay. you. <laughs> I love that so much because when you get so attached to, and I know many of you are into manifestation and you've manifested so much even through, you know, through methods even you've learned with us because, you know, we're all about manifestation. We're the mm -hmm. first one, achievers, manifestors, teaching you all the technologies we can in order for you to tap into that. But this year is different, guys. It's, it's really like a different approach in order to enter this next stage, as Regan is saying in the planet. And or you get in tune with it or you get out of tune with it and yeah. you're gonna be struggling. You can't be using the old ways, the old paradigms. This is what we found like 2020 was almost transitioning and, and helping us to understand that we really had to open to the next level, that it was not about us and what we thought was gonna be and like all our plans and even plans that we received from our guidance and from like, we saw everything. And at the same time, we're like, and we let it go right now. There's no attachment anymore. If it's that we have to stay in Costa Rica and just create the most amazing healing center where people can come and transform and, and, and get the codes from the land that we've worked on in every angle here, everywhere, right? To wake it up. Yes, that's, that's what it is. If it's both of it, it's both of it. If it's, doesn't matter. We don't care. We're just open yeah. to what's coming through and what's required of us. Because when you let yourself really go into service, then you open your wings. It's really opening the wings. The wings is not just the woo-woo thing of like, oh, my wings are growing, I'm an angel, and I'm calling the angel. <laughs> like you're actually learning to fly. And the flight, it's inner flight. It's not, about, no, it's not about the outer flight. Flight doesn't mean how much money you've got or how much you're flying in the world, how much how famous you are. It could be related, but it's not necessarily. The flight happens when you find that inner freedom from within. When you find that freedom that you're so free that you're not attached to anything or anyone anymore. And you really surrender to, okay, universe, just guide me. I'm here to serve. I'm here to contribute to this shift in the planet. When I do that, as Regan is saying, you open up your wings and you, you go back. You go way back to the observer and you sit down on the seat and you just start looking at the movie and saying, 
Whoa, that just happened. Oh, and I called that person, and look what that happened. Oh, and 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 let's let's do that 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 uh, that activation, and whoa, what that happened? Oh, well, let's just go inside right now and be in silence, and whoa, what just woke up? You start listening mm. and trusting and acting more and more with every breath. It's not even about what do I feel for tomorrow. I don't even know. Like right now, tuning in every time and then from that place learning to detach detach and fully be of service where am i supposed to be right now sometimes they call us guys and it's like go to the beach right now there's some grids to activate right there with the waves in a certain uh jungle in a certain national park in a certain with a certain group of people we don't even know anymore and yeah. sometimes it's don't even go out of the land for like what we've been here like almost a week also like without going out very little. We're not attached to anything, guys. But once you do that and you really surrender to that and there's no more like, I need to do in order to be, mm. you just are. You just accept the gift, the bliss of being you and being present and being in service. And then it's like explosions of bliss we've been going through, guys. Explosions. It's just like you don't need to do anything. And it's like, whoa, <laughs> so much gratitude just for being so the more you surrender into that the more you enter that state the more you enter the state the more inspired you are the more you do the more you serve the more you manifest and on and on the cycle goes yes absolutely <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful and i want you guys just to type in a yes if you're feeling that there's a really big shift going on within you and that could feel really blissful and really amazing, or it could also feel extremely uncomfortable. And it doesn't have to be one way or the other. It's just totally in what you're experiencing. You know, like Wampa's saying, sometimes it's these bliss explosions that just feel so good. You know, I also remember a time when we were in Peru, I know you'll remember this, where we went into a ceremony in a, in a, with our group that, you know, we had taken to Peru and we were working with the tribes there and sacred ceremony. And I had a ceremony where this angel appeared before me and I was like, oh wow, it's an angel. <laughs> it's so beautiful, right? And before I could even connect with her, she came behind my back and literally ripped out my wings. Do you remember this? Yeah. And it was extremely painful on every level, emotionally, physically, like ev everything was in pain, everything hurt. And I, I really quite honestly suffered through the rest of that ceremony. And I got out of that ceremony, I almost could barely even talk to anyone, I could barely look at anyone, and the next day, I just kept crying and crying and crying. And remember I went to go and have a massage? Yeah. <laughs> this amazing shamanic healer we have on our team there, and, and she went to you know touch the my, my back where my wings were, and I was literally screaming in pain. It was, it was so painful, and I kept saying to myself, I don't understand, why did this angel take my wings? Like, my wings is, everything it's my purpose it's my mission i don't even know who i am anymore like this is the worst ever like, 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 baby it's okay it's i was like it's not process. okay like, she no. took my damn wings i don't even my wings anymore like it was a, it was a big drama right <laughs> and then you know later <laughs> that night we went back into ceremony and I very nearly said like, I'm not going to go to the ceremony because like I've lost my wings and I don't know who I am. And I was, I was, I'm being funny with it, but seriously, I was in a lot of pain. Like it was extremely painful. And I went into that ceremony and the ceremony started and within half an hour, this like whole tribe of angels appeared mm. and literally you remember gifted me with these wings that were like 20 times the size of the wings that i had and were encoded with the next level of my planetary mission and everything that i was looking to go through and i was literally like whoa and i just remember feeling the the gratitude and the love and also the deep sense of responsibility that like whoa you know this is really what i'm here to do you know and so i know for many of you you're going through wings upgrades right now and i know for many of you some sometimes it might feel easy and it might feel in flow and sometimes it can feel really uncomfortable and sometimes you know some of these ascension symptoms like 
feeling super tired or not being able to sleep or um, you know getting headaches or needing to drink so much more water or feeling like your, your reality is a little bit out of balance all of this when you tune into it you know these things don't happen just by chance I want you to tune in and really ask yourself you know what part of me is being upgraded right now it might be your wings it might be that the intelligent centers in your brain are starting to turn on and activate it might be that there's facets of your heart that are starting to open more but the more that you can become your own innate intelligence and ask yourself you know what is actually going on instead of getting lost in like I did like my wings are gone I've got a headache this and that right <laughs> instead of getting lost in that and the physical symptoms really go in and ask yourself like what is actually going on right now and even just by asking that question I feel you you're gonna start unlocking so much around this next level because it's happening already it's happening to everyone on the planet we're seeing this wave happen we're going through this huge transition from 2020 and shifting into this completely new realm and so it's happening but the question is really how are you experiencing it and what information are you pulling through your own consciousness to actually start to tap into this you know totally totally it's so beautiful and again it's about surrender right because you get when you get attached to something and that's when and, and it's like you're fixated i say all the time it's like you have like you're like a horse going always in the same way and there's all this tension in this neck and this jaw mm -hmm. and all this part that's not letting the energy flow up into the crown right this is what you want to wake up you want to wake up really the the crown but this is like the frontal lobe it's the vision it's the imagination it's the the the, the opening up to your full potential right uh -huh. and we actually live here guys we live in the animal brain it's it's very survival it's very protecting and when you find and you let yourself you find that space from within and you let yourself surrender to it and it opens up like this the awakening, right? Some call it uh, Kundalini awakening or, or the awakening of the soul or, or the awakening of the inner energy of the inner universe, mm -hmm. right? The inner standing that happens from inside that's not from the mind. But um, f for me, for example, it's been such a surrender to doing things always in the same way and I've been opening up a lot into like when I do my activations, my practices, my, my waking up the energy and listening really what comes through using all kinds of different ways to approach it. Because, you know, we sometimes get used to having the same habits and the same structure mm -hmm. in the same way. And you're always rewiring the neuro circuitry in your nervous system always in the same way. So you're going to be receiving the same results. So for me, part of the what I felt this year is like, tapping into whatever would come through and all of a sudden my body started again for example doing more yoga and yoga I, I hadn't done yoga since I received quantum flow there was a little bit of yoga but there wasn't that much stretching but all of a sudden my body started asking for stretching and I started going deep into all these muscles and these fibers and I'm understanding um, the vision of why and then all of a sudden something new came out which is kind of like a quantum flow yoga kind of thing right which is all about opening up but taking everything to the next level and I got to states guys because I surrender I got to states of meditation of this wholeness that we're talking mm -hmm. about that I get to tap in so deep I, I get to surrender in such a way I've seen myself died over and over again like they keep waking me up you guys know like 3 a.m. 3 30 a.m. 4 a.m. that's like my range I can't sleep more than that and I used to struggle with with this and I'm like but my body needs to sleep more she's the witness right? <laughs> my body needs to sleep more I'm still yeah. tired baby like how can I do it? let me know and the hypnosis and this and that and I could kind of manage it and kind of work with it but then I'm like you know what I'll surrender to it and I started actually going into deeper states of meditation and then letting it take me to this all these activations that were coming through that were new to this body but were ancestral you know we've done it who knows how many times from when and all of a sudden I started going into this places guys of surrender of seeing myself die constantly dying and even being scared like what what I had in my solar plexus it, it was all this fear of letting go of parts of my ego of letting go of parts of my attachment to this life of who I thought I was uh, you know uh, why I was here in the world my partner my son I could see my son die I, I saw Regan die I saw my my parents die I was like in an ayahuasca journey without ayahuasca <laughs> you know guys I've been committed to 
get to those states of medicine through the practice, right? Through the quantum flow. And that's why this practice has been coming through is how to use the breath and the movement to enter those states where you release so deeply that you do a quantum leap in your life, right? So that's what it's all about in, 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 the, in the activation. And all of a sudden I, I see myself that it's like, it's like the suffering of someone dying. Like I swear to you, it's exactly the same. But after that, after that release, because there's a part of me that con that's conscious that I'm not there, that they're not dying, that she's really, she's <laughs> sleeping right beside me. You know, I've opened my eyes and seen like, is she still there? <laughs> yes, okay. Okay, I'm safe. It's okay. It's okay. I let them die. I cry them. I see them. And all of a sudden, this, this explosion of the heart that I was telling you about starts coming up like it's never come before. This is why the bliss states are coming up because it's like my highest self is being embodied in every cell of my being. That's what I feel this golden age is about is how do we embody at a cellular level because the higher self is usually oscillating, you know, but when you wake it up at a, at a nervous system at a cellular level and you start surrendering to these deeper um, levels of transformation, you start opening up to embodying more light. And I, I've actually seen like that, you know, when you enter these steps of meditation and you're feeling the light around you, like it's been multiplied by a hundred, like I can, I, can, I can feel it and see it. I'm walking and it's like, it's a sun. And it's like, whoa, you get scared of it. But it's not because it's Wampa or Regan. We've both had this. It's because that's what's available for us right now. We have the sun energy waking up in every cell of our being. But in order to get there, guys, we do have to go through the transformation. Yeah. It can be painful. It can be uncomfortable. It can be hard. But when you open to that, it's such a freedom, such a bliss. Like it's what they call heaven on earth, right? Like you start understanding what really is heaven on earth. So, you know, one for the other, you surrender to the process. Parts of you die. It even hurts, whatever. You're not attached even to the suffering anymore. Mm. And then you rise as you've never risen before. And that's what it's all about. I feel this year is about rising. Whoever surrenders, yeah. <laughs> it's about rising in order to serve more and and open up more and be more and embody more yeah yeah absolutely salute to that <laughs> it's about rising and you know we're very much letting go of this old paradigm of just being in service to self really you know that that's the the planetary shift at the core of it of the core of everything and all the theories which are happening right now is really this shift from service to self into selfless service or divine service right yes. and so we'd love just to invite all of you to check in right now where are you at right now when it comes to service on every level, right? On a planetary level with your communities, with your families, with your tribe, with people you care about, with people you don't even know. Where are you actually at with that? And I want you to really start asking yourself the question, how do I get to serve more in 2021? Because once again, we promise you that if that's your center point, if that's your anchor, if that's your heartbeat, you will witness miracles yes. upon miracles upon miracles of divine support and abundance and synchronicities and flow and magic literally appear before your very eyes. If you're truly doing this from a, from a selfless heart, if you're truly doing this from a place of how do I get to serve more? And I just think it's exciting to start asking those questions. You yes. know, it's exciting to, to go into this, you know, the, it would be here all day if we sat down and told you, you know, all the different ways that we choose to serve every day. But one of the things that we're doing specifically also to help people in the shift from 2020 into 2021 is we've put together a really powerful training called Rise. And instead of it being like our usual trainings, we're actually doing it where there's a small donation to have access to this. And then we're donating 100% of the 100%. donations, 100%. We're, we're effectively running it for free, right? And you guys do a small donation. We give 100% of those donations through to an amazing organization that helps us build schools in Africa. And so together we're gonna be working with you guys, with the community to actually build a school and give the gift of education to so many children in Africa, yes. um, which just would, would not have that opportunity, right? So again, yes. we'd be here all day if we told you all the different ways <laughs> we were doing things like this, but this really came from us asking a few years ago, actually, you know, how do we get yes. to be of greater service? And this was one of the things where it popped up and it was like, you know what, it, we could just, you know, donate a chunk of money and tell other people to do the same, but even doing more than that, let us actually give the people that do donate 
combinations a really epic powerful training yes. online of course which goes for five days and so if you want to hear more about that we can send you the link and you can check out where the donations are going and the training is called rise so comment below with rise if you want to hear more about that because we're rise. starting soon and this is brand new you rise will not get this together. training anywhere Yes. It's actually all around rising into purpose, yes. power, and prosperity yes. in 2021 and beyond. Five and so, full days. With us. Five full days, new activations. It's it's amazing. It's it's an extremely yes. powerful course. It's really everything that we do to set up for our year behind the scenes, and then we take you deep into the most recent activations and quantum flow and energetic architecture, which we've channeled through in order to support you in this. And again, we're we're effectively showing up 100% in service to do this, so that we can. Raise as much money as possible for Africa yes. and really support them. Yeah. Yes. And guys, just so you know, um, this is something we incorporate the community. This is why we love. We want to bring you guys in because we have different orphanages and communities that we are always donating. It's part of our lifestyle. And we yeah. don't even put it out there. We did this, we did that. We're not about that. We, we just do it. Like, it. We're yeah. always doing it. You know, it's something that's natural. We'll even do a, a huge thing. But this, we love the fact that it's in community. Mm -hmm. This year, it's all about community. It's all about getting together. It's, it's creating together. So this year, we're, I mean, we've done it like it's the third, fourth year we do it, I think. Yeah, I think it's the third year, third but year it was a different it. training. It's a different yeah. training, but the idea is to get with the community and then see what we manifest together. And it's so beautiful. It's so different for us. We donate even money from ourselves, just so you know. It's yeah. not only time. We're not just doing the training. Of course, we, we, we donate a bunch of money to it because we love the project and we love helping and we love those children. And, yeah. and it's just natural. But we ask you guys just to put your hand in your heart and say, okay, I want to rise myself. But it's not only rising in your life, but knowing that when you serve, you start, you start creating that neural circuitry that the more you serve, the more you receive. Mm -hmm. The more you serve, the more you receive. How amazing is that? You see other people happy, you help others, exactly. and there you're receiving. And then you're opening more up your heart. You're, 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 you, you, you have more capacity to receive. You have more capacity to channel and to manifest. They go side by side. So that's where we're t telling you about, let's come out of the thing of manifest, manifest, manifest. I want this, I want that. Even if it's things for, for others and it's yeah. things for like spiritual uh, attainments, like can we go even beyond us and say like, okay, I surrender to the process of transformation yeah. so I can rise from within and I can serve others. And I know that I'm contributing right now to help others rise in their own way. Because for those children, having a school, and it's a pretty conscious school, guys. It's yeah, not just it's a amazing. typical traditional school. It's like, it's really, really amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so There's a few questions coming through around yeah. details, around all this. Basically, if you comment below with Rise, we'll catch your comment afterwards and send you the link and you can check all of this out. Um, every year we haven't done a school build. We've worked with Pencils of Promise every year in this piece. But in the past, we would just basically raising funds to sponsor children to pay for the education, not actually yeah. building a school. And so now we've switched into the school build yeah. and we're going to basically be building our first school with you guys. And we've already started doing a lot of this with the with the donations and, and raising and everything we've contributed. So also this is probably gonna be the icing on the cake to yes. actually make this happen, which is exciting. It's the first exciting. time we do it in community. Yeah. And that's what we want. We want to like, let's see like, just surrender to the power of community. This this yeah. year has been that for us in many ways. Mm -hmm. There's some land coming through also in this in this beautiful land where it can be opened up to to a beautiful, beautiful community. There is also like more connection with community. You've seen in the tribe, the other day we did a cacao ceremony. We went so deep for free. The community exploded. It's so amazing. You'll see a lot of that coming through from us guys, like helping you in whatever way we can, just connecting community. Yeah. And this is why we also ask you guys, um, if you can share these live streams. I know it's kind of like, okay, whatever, we'll share it. Nobody likes it or whatever. Guys, just by you sharing it, even if your people don't like it, Facebook shows it for more people, just so you know. So I know sometimes you share it and people don't even, don't even like it because it's not shown to them, but Facebook sees that the live stream is being shared. Mm -hmm. So just so you know how important it is for you to share it, even if nobody comments, don't worry about it. You're contributing to the expansion of this live stream. And yeah. right now you're contributing to the expansion of rights, of helping as many children as we, we can to open up to their full potential too. So this is why 
why we ask you and we emphasize so much, guys, please share it. Like, that's a great contribution you're doing. Like, we love giving. But part of that, like, for you, you're contributing as much just by giving share, just by tagging people, just by sharing with others. Hey, come, you know, bring your people, bring your yeah. family, bring your friends. Like, hey, come, you know, Regan and Wampa, they're kind of cool and they're doing this <laughs> nice thing, you know. For just, Hey, come on, let's try it they're out. Let's build a school. Let's <laughs> build, build a school together, you know. Yeah. It's, 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 really, it's really amazing. Mm -hmm. So if you can do that, we really appreciate it because that is the way how we're going to shift the energy in this yeah. planet. Thank you to all of you who are writing it, that you've shared, shared and sharing yeah. now. Yeah, really cool. You guys cool. are amazing. Really cool. There's a couple of questions as well. Yeah, the training. So there are going to be four videos which are released for the first four days. And then day five, you're actually live with us for at least an hour, probably 90 yes. minutes. Yeah, 90 minutes. And if you can't make live. it on live, you get the recording. But, Always um, the replay. Yeah, we're, we're going to go super deep with you guys. And we're just so excited. I mean, what an opportunity, right, to rise up yourself right and and really rise into the best version of you in 2021 but also to be rising into this deep contribution of service which we get to do together which is just so cool it's so cool guys. yeah so we'll get all the details out to you we're seeing all your comments yes and rise rise amazing rise, rise. And everybody's shared shared yeah. shared thank you thank you yeah, that. that's really cool that you share it and they you let other people know that's really appreciated because yeah. we are it's like we know it's coming through it goes beyond us and part of the message is the school is happening and you guys it's not alone we've yeah, done we do a lot together. of stuff alone yeah and it's like actually this every is the monday power of we community. do something alone yeah every monday we find a cause or something. a foundation or you know actually um last last monday we actually contributed a really nice piece of money to a lady in Peru who is, um, she's basically just had a baby and she was struggling and she couldn't basically pay for anything for the baby, no food, nothing. She wasn't producing milk either and she didn't have anywhere to go and live. And so um, a friend of ours, Maria, who's amazing, um, shared this story and it touched our hearts and immediately Holy we were like, okay, we have to contribute. So, so we contributed to that and we do this, we, t we call it Do Good Monday, you know, and we do something like this every Monday and, and sometimes we share it and sometimes we just do it and we forget or we we don't we don't need to share it you know sometimes we just do it we but just do it. again it feels so cool to open up and um and do this with the community and the lady in peru by the way is doing really well now and she has the supplies that she needs and she she's basically not gonna she doesn't have to give her baby away now so yeah, that's really beautiful so sweet yeah. guys and this is what serving is sometimes you're just like looking at somebody's eyes and just mm -hmm. with your with your energy just sharing with them the love that you're feeling yeah. you're hugging someone like smiling laughing uh on a facebook you know comment that you see someone sharing their hearts and instead of you just shutting it down or looking somewhere else or being envious for it actually celebrating with the person and saying amazing whoa i love this so much thank you for this thank you mm -hmm. for sharing guys that's serving just so you know serving is not just giving money yeah. serving is not just it's like can we enter can service be our natural state mm -hmm. can you just put a facebook live on and tell people your story whatever that is how did you overcome yourself how many times you fall into the same hole and what did you do not to fall into it anymore Mm -hmm. That is service, guys, because when you're coming from experience, you don't need to read 100,000 books. You don't need to do 100,000 trainings. It's your experience that speaks, and it speaks way more than those speaking heads that are speaking from here up and are not even touching from their hearts. It's just about blah, 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 what they know. It's a mind talking. It's a mind talk. When you do a heart talk, and you put mm -hmm. the Facebook live and you're like, guys, I want to share this story with you. I used to be super timid, super fearful. And this is why I'm doing this for you. But this is what has given to me. I've opened up. I've opened up my voice. I've opened up to share. I want to encourage you guys to do the same. I feel so free doing this. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you kind of go off if yeah. you want. But guys, <laughs> being you. Start being you and sharing from mm -hmm. you, knowing that you are already a teacher. Please record this in yourselves you are already a guide for people there's someone waiting yeah. for your message to come out i don't care if you're studied or not or you're done whatever you're done or where you're from it doesn't matter you are a teacher already step into that step into that mm -hmm. uh, example for humanity by being you and being vulnerable and yeah. sharing the most vulnerable spaces inside of you and and what did you do about them share your human experience so others feel that comfortability and say like oh my god i thought i was alone i'm feeling that too i felt that too before whoa 
thank you for sharing. And then you give them the opportunity to share too because they feel almost accepted and they don't feel judged anymore mm -hmm. or criticized. It's such an amazing gift. That is serving. You see, I'm just doing this yeah. example because there's so many ways we could talk about serving that goes beyond uh, giving in the same yeah. way we've always given. Yeah, and sometimes it's it's just sharing something that you care about and raising awareness. For, for those of you, I saw lots of people writing, oh my goodness, I love the, the phrase, do good Monday. I love that you guys do that. Um, we both share this on Mondays on our Instagram often. You know, here and there sometimes we, we don't share on Instagram, but a lot of the time we, we just do it on our stories. So if you guys follow us on Instagram and especially on a Monday, <laughs> you follow us, you'll, yeah. you'll see that. And yeah, sometimes it's like a physical donation. Sometimes it's a time donation. Sometimes it's just raising awareness and being like, whoa, we just found out about these people helping the horses that are struggling right now in the Gili Islands in Bali and Indonesia. Uh, please share this so we can get more, more people behind this. You know, sometimes it really is just sharing. Yeah. So again, if you, um, if you follow us, if you follow us on Instagram or if you don't yet follow us on Instagram, um, then feel free to do that and check out our stories because we often, yeah, invite you into the, into the into the fun flow that we're grounding into and we also love hearing your ideas you know many people start sending us like hey can you support this for do we good love monday that. can you start sharing that like we love hearing that's community guys. yeah that's real community you know and you know it's like contributing to this amazing um women in peru like we wouldn't have known about this unless our friend maria travis wrote a post and was like hi this lady's really struggling and she's gonna fly well, she has already flown to peru to actually be on the ground and help her and she's like hey Hey, anyone who can support, let's get this out there. You know, so we wouldn't have known about that unless someone in our community actually told us that, right? So yes. we love just creating this vortex. And again, guys, this is just, it's just a reflection of what's going on on the planet, right? And this big shift in this, this energetic wave, which is going on right now. And the more that you surf this wave and say yes to service, you know, the, the easier it gets in so many yes. ways, the more flow you step into and you know what else is interesting? The more you ground into service, the more your natural gifts come online. Yes. And the more you start truly remembering the truth of who you are. And the more that all these things that are encoded within your DNA and within yourselves, all of that starts just waking up and popping online. And all of a sudden you feel inspired to share in a way that maybe you haven't shared before. You feel inspired to serve in a way where maybe you have no idea how that even looks like. Maybe yes. all of a sudden you're like, you know what? I actually want to raise the consciousness of this planet and you might look at your 3d reality and go well how do I do that I mean I'm in a job right now I'm not even sure how to do that and we want to let you know that there are different pathways for you to actually go through and be supported in this quest to be of greater service and we're going to talk a little bit around that and what that looks like but I want you to go ahead and type in a yes if you've been feeling your innate gifts waking up through yes. this process even if you don't know what they are even if you don't yes. know how you're going to use them even if you don't have you're it all figured them coming out through. right who's feeling there are parts of themselves which are waking up through their own consciousness where you can feel and maybe it's different for everyone, but maybe it's visions you've started receiving. Maybe it's a deep sense of knowing that you're here to do something greater than what you're currently doing in the world. Maybe you start hearing what it sounds like to actually impact the world in a slightly different way. Maybe you see someone else out there in full service, shining their light, living their purpose and their truth, and something is touched in you and something wakes up because you go, wow, you know, I'm inspired by this person or even I'm triggered by this person. Why are they so bright? <laughs> oh, because it's reflecting a Reflection. part of me that I haven't said yes to yes. right now. Oh, I understand, right? I'm seeing all your yeses and this yes. is so exciting. Absolutely. It's so exciting, right? Because a big part of why we're here as humans is for growth and is for evolution yes. right the planet is ascending we are ascending also and we've got to change in order for that to take place we've got to wake up we've got to remember the truth of who we are and again it can be confusing and it can feel overwhelming it can feel like i just want to get out there and change the planet but i don't know how and we're going to talk about some of the how today and give you guys some practical options and 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 steps if you like because so many of you are writing yes right now. This is so exciting. Oh, it's so That's beautiful. Because you know, and many times you don't even know what's coming through, but yeah. you accept that there's something new. And you got to let it be because if you put it in the same box, in the same way, then you kind of kill it, right? Like the yeah. mind wants to put it in the same bookshelf as you have your other books, but maybe 
it has no bookshelf. Maybe it's a different type of place yeah. where you're gonna put it. You know, you're not gonna be a boxed one. It's gonna be a, 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 a an expansion a of, <laughs> of of freedom completely, where the book is gonna be flying almost, and it doesn't have to be on the on the, on a, the galactic book. a galactic book, right? Like be open to what's new. Like how we wanna create the new world if we're always coming from the old paradigm. Yeah. And this is why we always tell you, guys, we gotta commit to burn down the house. We gotta commit to do the alchemy to let go of the old ways of doing and being that we have inherited for so long that we have done for so long and we can choose to shift them but we really need to commit to go deep and start recreating ourselves reopening ourselves back to our natural state because your natural state is owning those gifts and i and i i, I just saw a question there like oh i'm already tapped into my into my purpose is this course good for me Yes, guys, it is good because there's different layers of purpose. If we would have said that, I think we tapped into, I tapped into my purpose 25 years ago that I started serving in a community. You, what, also like 15, 15 years, years ago, yeah. ago, right? Like for me, I was already taking children from the street for four years, not getting paid a dime, helping children, bringing them, helping them, helping people in addiction, helping people with all the patterns that you can imagine. Four years completely devoted to help them. I found my purpose. I loved it. I knew who I was, yeah. right? But I never closed myself. I would have stayed doing the same thing all, all my life. And yeah. I knew that was just a step. So we recommend yeah. don't stay in that place like, I found it, this is what it is. Open up to more. Yeah. Now it's going faster than ever before. Exactly. Now like you, you think you're in purpose, next week something else opens up because of that step of the purpose you're yeah. into. And then next month something else opens and all of a sudden you're doing completely something different but it's very related to what you started doing. Yeah, you and see? there's always evolution. Always, there's always flow. There's always growth with it. Always flow. There's always evolution and there's always growth <sighs> and you know, if you ask us now, really, Regan, Wampa, what is your purpose? Why are you here? We're going to tell you to help raise the vibration of this planet. Like, we're very clear on that. It's very simple to us. But I don't know about you, but I definitely wouldn't have written that down when I first found my purpose, even yeah. though I did find my purpose. Um, I remember this so clearly. I was 15 years old and I was actually out. Um, but my family are sailors, right? So I was out on, on our family boat. And my dad sent me like a task actually on January the 1st. And he's like, look, I know you're gonna write down your New Year's resolutions and your goals. He said, I want you to write those down, but also I want you to write out, why are you here? What's your purpose? And he gave me, as a 15 year old, he gave me this task, which I felt totally overwhelmed with and confused by. And I told, I came back after like five minutes and I was like, dad, I don't know, why am I here? Like, what's the point, right? Yeah. And he's like, I can't tell you that. He's like, you have to, you have to keep asking yourself that until you know, and you'll know when you know. And I was like, okay. So I kept sitting with it. I kept sitting with it. And like a day later, I came back to him. And I remember this so clearly. I had this little piece of paper. I was 15 years old. I was Danny's age, right? Yeah. And, and I said to my dad, I said, dad, I know why I'm here. Like, I get it. I know what my purpose is. And dad's like, what is it? And I, on this piece of paper, I wrote out, my name is Regan and I'm here to make everyone smile. <laughs> and my dad's like that's awesome <laughs> he's like okay so how are you gonna do that and i said well just wherever i am with anybody i'm gonna see if i can try make them smile and as a 15 year old i would walk into like a grocery store into a supermarket and the cashier would be like right and i would try make them smile <laughs> and i it literally i got obsessed with it. it became my mission to try make people smile now, what am i doing i'm actually rising the vibration of the planet but my version of that through the microscope i was in was that then yeah. right yeah. and i remember that so clearly but if i'd gone and gone well that's my purpose i now know what it is you know there's no more need to even think about my purpose well i think i'd still just be trying to make people smile yes. and uh, might be some more needed of me on this planet you know so it's so it's so important it's so important to constantly be connected Evolving. to growth connected to evolution yes. and in this place where you're allowing these parts of yourself to actually come online and wake up yes yes it's the only way guys when you Ah, let go of any expectations. And even if you don't understand right now, like we have so many people reaching out to us, like 
I don't know, guys. I, I just want to kind of do what you guys do. Like, what is it? How do you call your, your career or whatever? Like, we will tell you all our careers and everything we've, we've started. It, it's kind of crazy, right? Because it's been, crazy. it's been 35 <laughs> years here together of the craziest, most obsessive, like, studies that you can imagine in all the spiritual business, uh, and inner it's still liberation. Going. Right now, I'm studying photography. I have you all know. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. I'm always studying science and quantum <laughs> physics and the whole, like, for me. Like, stop. it doesn't stop like yeah. it's 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 that's the beauty of it right so when you open to that it's like the next layers keep coming and keep coming and keep coming and the more you open the more it is revealed to you but if you don't do those first steps like we hear all the time like okay guys like how do i follow you how do i do what you do uh, how do i i want to travel the world as you guys do i want to do retreats as you guys do i want to help people as you guys do but i don't know if i'm a coach I don't know if I'm a teacher. I'm not that. I don't see myself writing books. I don't see myself speaking. I don't see myself... You know, when you find out, it's like that fear that's holding them back. Because if they're being called to us and they see themselves reflect on us, is because we move them in some way that mm -hmm. we inspire them and they feel, oh, the tickling. But of course, the programs are still there that are holding you back saying, yes, but not yet. Yes, but I have to study more. Yes, but I don't have a title. Yes, but let me see what I can do in order to be there. All these mm -hmm. stories from the mind that, guys, you can let go of now. That's just stories of the mind. If you feel the call, if you feel ready, if you feel I'm here to serve, I'm here to help, I'm here to be a contributor in the world and not only, you know, do something for myself or just a job because I'm doing a job because it feels good and, and because I have money and I'm creating the material world, but I'm not fulfilled. We're kind of done with that, guys. You're not going to survive very long. Like, you're going to be dying inside because your soul, you're living your shadow purpose. You're living just because of there's, the, there, there's money to be made. There's, there's food to bring into the house. And there's families to, to, to help and, and sustain. Of course, we understand that. We've been there too. But you can open always to more and know that your purpose, your birthright is waiting for you to say yes. And when you say yes, and when you really surrender to it and you tell the world, you know what? I am a spiritual activator. You know what? I am a game changer. You know what? I am an influencer. You know what? I'm, I'm a coach. I love helping others coaching. You know what? I'm helping, I love helping others shifting their reality like I've done. Like I'm obsessed with that. When you surrender to that, Guys, it's such a relief, so much freedom. Your heart explodes. Mm. You start having the most amazing transformations yourself and you really start, start stepping into your highest self instead of going around in that comfortable zone of like, okay, I'll just stay here in my little bubble and I feel protected here. I'm okay. I don't have to share too much. And yeah. you know, I'm, just, I'm okay. It's not okay to be okay. Just okay. It's not enough, guys. Now in the planet is required for you to say, I am living my truth. I am living my purpose. This is a total yes. Because if you're in that side, you're going to rise so high, so high, as fast as, as you've ever even thought before. But if you're kind of okay, you're kind of going to see the train go by. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be like, whoa, what happened? Why is everybody amazing? And I'm, I'm still okay when people are thriving. You're still there in your little bubble. So that, that's where we invite you to like really own it, guys. Like own it from within and say, this is who I am. This is why I'm here. And I don't know how, but I just want to help the world. And that's it. That's, that's, that's the first step. Right? Absolutely. And, you know, bringing this background to this conversation of service, you know, when you're truly living a life in alignment with your purpose and you're tapping deeper into the innate parts of yourself and you're activating your gifts and you're getting out there in, in the world and you're sharing your message, you start realizing that none of that's even about you. It's coming through you. It's coming through you. None of it's about you. You know, your breakthrough, your transformation, your activating your gifts, your DNA activation, whatever filter we want to put on this, none of that's about you. And it is about the people that you're put here to touch and help and inspire and wake up. Like, that's really what it's about at the end of the day. So yes. in our eyes, when you go deeper into your own purpose, deeper into your own mission, deeper into why you're here, deeper into shining your light, deeper into expanding your gifts, deeper to saying yes to all of this, I mean, that's true service. Yes. You know, we're really put here to 
to lead each other back home, to wake each other up along the way. And you do that through owning your gifts at an even deeper level. So it's just so important to remember that. And I think some people think purpose and, and service are separate when really they're so deeply the intertwined. Someone wrote on here, I caught the comment, I think it was you, Catherine, wrote the comment earlier, you know, we need clear steps and structures yes. in order for more people to get into this place. And we totally agree. It's very easy to sit there and go, yeah, I want to be in my purpose. Yeah, I want to help people. Yeah, I want to serve the world, but where do you start with that? Yes. And we, you know, it's great just to, you know, do a live stream and go, yeah, it's my purpose, but really to help people and to, to go in there and to completely help them shift their reality, there, there are frameworks which you need and there is a, a toolkit right? Which you actually need to have access to in order to get them results. And of course, there's many different toolkits and many different pathways, but we'd love to share a few of the things that have really worked for us and have worked for hundreds, if not thousands combined yes. of our clients yeah. who, who are out there rocking the world and truly in their purpose and, and creating waves and waves and waves of service because they've studied with us and have actually a system multiple systems and yes. processes in order to go in and actually do this. So they're not just guessing and they're not just saying, yeah, yeah, I'll help you by inspiring you. They, <laughs> they actually have tools and technologies in order to access how to unlock people they are working with so that they can change the world. Exactly. And guys, this is why we keep sharing programs and we keep listening to you, what you need and, mm -hmm. and what, what's helped us. And like when you asked us the questions long time ago, way, way before we met, but you know, we've been working with people for so many years and people yeah. will always come. What do you do? What's your thing? Like, can I do what you do? Like, what is it? So we started creating these programs from you guys and, and, and for whoever like feels it's there to serve and wants to go deeper. We have amazing programs that, as Regan says, has not only helped thousands of people themselves in their own process, but then how to, they've helped also thousands of people. So when you see the big numbers, it's millions of people stepping into their purpose and into their highest selves. And these programs are constantly rolling, but now it's a very important time because they're not gonna be rolling for at least another eight months. Yeah. And these are two amazing programs that are coming through for whoever wants to go deeper, which is one is the Quantum Flow Certification. We're starting the, the 4th of January, which is all about activating that inner circuitry, that, that, that inner potential that we have. So we call it an inner mastery training. And it's really learning how to deal with you, with all your procrastination, your self-betrayal, your mind stories, your memories from the past, your suffering patterns, your addictions, everything that holds you down, all your blind spots that keep you down, help you open up to that. And then not only do it for you, but for your family and then for your community if you want to share it. So this is actually a certification, but it's a long like, six-week training, which is becoming almost an eight-week training. <laughs> now it's so, it's so deep, right? That, that it's going gonna, it's gonna to be actually extending to eight weeks. And it's really an inner training and then how to share it with the world with the certification. So this is actually learning how to do what I do in 20 countries a year, talking to people on stages, talking about neuroscience, neuroplasticity, quantum physics, waking them up to know who they are and what they're capable to do in the corporate world, in the spiritual world, yoga people, qigong, energy healers. It doesn't matter where they come from. It's a system that applies to all business people. It works in business. And then you, you, you help them how to raise up their vibration through their bodies using breath using movement mm -hmm. using the philosophy so you can rock it on stages too and this is what we do together yeah. like i'm helping them understand all this and then wake up their energy and then regan comes with their magic of energetic ar architecture and of course all the wisdom she shares and that's why we really take people to the deepest places everywhere we go is people saying like oh my god i've never gone so deep Oh my God, I've never done so much deep work or so much shift so fast. So this is something that it's coming very soon, guys. We have a couple of days and we start and you have still some time to enroll. But I would recommend if you, if you want to know more, just comment below with the word quantum. And we will share with you all the, all the details around that and what has that uh, how, how, how the program is rolling so you can understand if it's something for you to serve others in this way. 
Yeah, totally. And we're going to talk in a, a little bit around how we've used both of our modalities to upgrade our work and our lives as well. And so, yeah, the quantum flow training is amazing. And that's one pathway for certification. Again, just remembering so that if you're in your purpose and you want to wake people up, you have a system to do it. You have the tools to do it. You can actually go, let me change your life. And I'm a certified quantum flow practitioner. You yeah. know, there's there's actually something backing you, right? Yeah. And so in terms of my side of things and, and another pathway, which strangely is available to you at the same time, and you can tune in to which one feels in the highest of alignment, course. or of course, if you want to fuse both, they're going to go really powerfully together. And so on my side of things, it is the laser coaching, coach the coach system. And so to give you a quick little snapshot, my world, I started out, um, you know, once I'd come through and worked really deeply on myself, I was really a one-on-one -on -one coach for a long period of time. And I really loved it, but sometimes I was on the phone coaching people for like eight to 10 hours a day. And I was like, this is crazy. How am I ever gonna help more people? And so I set myself a challenge and my coaching sessions were usually two hours, two and a half hours, right? And I loved them, I loved them, but I wanted to help more people. So my challenge was, okay, Regan, how do you get on the phone with someone and get the same results or better in under 20 minutes or less, right? Because who doesn't want super fast results in under 20 minutes or less? So I started taking all my tools and all my techniques and basically hacking them to the core of what is the most important and the most critical and turn that into a system. And that's what I called my laser coaching system. So this is what I use if I get on the phone with someone. This is what all the, the coaches and our team use if they're again on the phone one-to-one -one with someone, okay? And so if you want to understand this system and literally have the capacity to walk anyone from where they're at to where they want to be through coaching, then go ahead and just comment below with laser coaching and we can get the info out for you for that. Now, this is great for someone who is starting out and you think, wow, I'd love to be a coach. That'd be so amazing just to sit at home and be on my own time schedule and coach people one-on-one. -on -one over the phone or if you're already a coach and you want to upgrade and you actually want the laser coaching certification and be trained by our team then you can do that as well okay but again when you fuse these methods and you have both of these tools <laughs> in your toolkit it's super super powerful and so for me you know connecting with Wampa so many years ago and actually going deep into his quantum flow method, it completely blew my life because for me, I was, I was very from the mind paradigm of things. I'd gone deep into NLP and hypnosis and so many facets of that. You'll see elements through that. The, I call it the best of the best of that through the laser coaching certification, right? And I've gone so deep in that world. I, there was a big part of me where I was missing the, the key to unlock manifestation through my physical body. And I really hadn't at all gone into embodiment practices in a way like, oh, you know, I'd stretched and worked out and done yoga, but I mean like real embodiment, quantum embodiment in a way where it's through the energetic realms using the body. And so the minute I met Wampa and he's like, touch this place here, breathe like that, expand like this. I was like, what? <laughs> and everything started unlocking so quickly. So I'm so grateful for that. Yeah, no, it's so true. It's so beautiful working with so many people that, you know, we've worked, we have so many people that are coaches, that are qi Qigong masters, that are yoga masters, energy healers, and they come and it's like, I'm looking to elevate to the next level. And when they bring quantum flow, quantum flow fits into everything. That's why laser coaching and quantum flow go so well because quantum flow helps you like, okay, I can coach you right now, but let me give you 10 minutes of something that it's exactly designed for you to help you do this activation every day. So when you come back to me, you're gonna come in a bigger shift. The biggest shifts you give to people, the more they're gonna expand, the more they're gonna tell the clients, the more they're gonna come to you, and all of a sudden you're gonna be full of clients because you're not only helping them in the moment, but you're giving them something to take away designed for them. That's why it's it's so beautiful how they how they align. And for my side, I can also say, for example, with laser coaching, I did the program too. And it's so beautiful to see when I did it, how it combined, it took me to the next level too. As same as Regan, we do both each other's programs. So Regan did my own program too. And it, it brought her so many upgrades in her money and her yeah. health and her mindset and everything. And same for me, the way I approach coaching, the way I would see myself, hypnosis, NLP, I went so much deeper into to many things that helped me so much and then we realized like how powerful these are together how mm. powerful they just complement each other and take everything to the next level guys exactly. so yeah this is this is this is why we want to share them together because if it's 
if you're committed to serve the world, to help others, if you're committed to really stand up for others and help them have the, the, the shifts in the fastest way, this go hand in hand. Quantum flow yeah. is the same. 20 minute sessions and you wake them up. People are like, oh my God, I've never felt so much energy in my life. Yeah. And laser coaching and poof, you shift something 20 minutes. You don't need much more. So yeah. it's very important to, to, to wake it up in every way that you can. Yeah, and both of these are certifications, right? And so again, if it's not these certifications, we recommend that you do go into some sort of deep training with someone at least, right? And actually know that you can serve your clients in a way where you know that you're really gonna be able to get them really fast, powerful results, right? Because yeah. it's kind of irresponsible to just go out there and be like, I'll change your life and you know hope that you can without having a proven system behind you. So again, you know, Wamp has been doing quantum flow for decades now and, you know, <laughs> laser, laser coaching has been, yeah, nearly what, 12, 15 years, something like that, that I've been going deep into this process. And so there's so many people, so many people that are using these pathways and infusing them into their life and their reality. Um, and so yours is eight weeks online now. It got longer. No, it's six weeks, oh, but usually, you know, people extends. take even more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. this is the no, same with us. we're not going to make it in six weeks. So, no. yeah, so laser coaching people as well. Know. It's five weeks online, but it always yeah. extends out to yeah. six, seven. Yeah. I think we have like 50 quantum flow practitioners. Guys, let us know who's who's here, who's already, because we had we had so many, people are so pumped with this. We had like 100 certifi certified practitioners this yeah. year. And that there's are a lot of laser coaches. Broke in the world too. and also laser coaches. Yeah. Let us know if you've done it already, if you recommend it, because... Yeah, and they know, like we say, oh yeah, we're doing uh, six weeks, but it definitely <laughs> takes more because you, you yeah. go through so much transformation yourself, guys. Mm -hmm. It's really about your own transformation. It's so important to upgrade every area of your life yeah. to the next level. And then you're like, you're feeling so good. This is what we had with 50% of the people. They're like, oh yeah, I just want to do it for myself. I'm feeling so good with quantum flow. And then they're like, Oh my God, I need to share this with the world. I'm yeah. feeling so amazing. I've had so many upgrades. So yeah, let us know if, if, if that's what you're doing because there's so many out there. Also laser coaches, yeah. let us know. That, that's the best way is like when you see others' testimonies and ask them, guys, if you're interested or something, go and reach out to them. Go and reach out to the ones that are writing there and let them totally. know, hey, can you tell us like what's your experience on this? How this yeah. helped you? Because that's when you really get it instead of just hearing from yeah. us. The testimonies talk by themselves. One of the things that a lot of people love about these two pathways and actually the process of getting certified through each of them is that not only are you learning directly from us and we're with you on those trainings and giving you feedback and going deep into all of that, is that when you do the task for your certifications and you're partnered up, you're actually working on each other. So through these weeks, you actually get a stack of free coaching and training and you upgrade so much personally, right? Which just unlocks so many parts of yourself through this process. Yes. So it's a, it's again, it's beautiful and we love running these trainings because it's not just us training you, it's actually then you working with each other and you getting into this beautiful flow of just totally upgrading your life. Exactly. Yeah. That's how that, and that's the only way it works, guys. We see so many, I, for example, I see so many um, uh, co people coaching others and helping others. But when you go analyze their lives, like we see even money coaches, like abundance coaches, right? And they're like, oh, this whole thing of like, I help you bring abundance and money and all that. And then when they're gonna enroll in a program, they're like, I can't pay your $97. I'm sorry, but I'm really struggling with money. And it's like, oh, but you're helping others make money. That's how you promote yourself. <laughs> like, okay, maybe name yourself different because yeah. that lack of integrity is what not giving you results. If you're telling yeah. people that and doing all these stories and putting the fake face on Facebook that you're something you're not, you're, not, you're never going to get there. You're always going to be like kind of thinking you get there, but it's, it's, it's just a mask. So getting raw and real and doing the walk, walk your talk, you know? That's why every program that we do is all about the inner transformation first yeah. and then how you share it with the world. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So quantum flow, if you want quantum flow, <laughs> laser coaching, if you want the info on that and rise as well, right? If you want to be involved in our beautiful community service project and help us build the school in Africa and go in and also receive this really powerful training as well. And we're so excited for you guys. You know, we started out really talking around service. If you jumped on and you missed the beginning, I really recommend you go back and watch it to get the 
get the preamble of everything which went down because it's important, right? And we talked about the planetary shift where everyone's going from really service to self into this beautiful divine service mode. And we just know that the more that you say yes to that, the more you expand to that, the more you start waking up your own innate gifts and, and your, your purpose and your talents and all of that starts to come online, the more you just naturally just want to serve. It naturally becomes your natural state. You're excited by it. And and when you get into that place, we said this as well, you know, so many, so many beautiful divine synchronicities and miracles just literally unfold before your eyes. And every time you're like, oh my goodness, does it get any better than this? It just keeps getting better. Just gets better <laughs> but the heartbeat of all of that is service. And so we're just excited for all of you that are committing to service. You can go ahead and declare that in the comments if you want. Just say, I'm committed to service. If you really want that to be your anchor point of 2021 yeah definitely guys remember rise we're rising together not only because you're doing your inner work and your inner activation but you're helping build the school yeah. i just saw so many people coming by that are new mm -hmm. that, that don't having heard of this i we, as regan is saying go and, and listen to it yeah. again but just so you know we're talking about building a school together but goes beyond that is the vortex we create together in order to help humanity yeah. that's where we're stepping into right now it's the we it's not the i anymore mm -hmm. so this is like an energetic vortex we create and there's something manifested in this way it's a school but it can be many different things and we can manifest more and more and more and help so many more people and 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 just um, give so many more opportunities to people when we get together so for us we're just building it building it building it with you guys it's together so please if you can tell others if you can share this live stream if you can bring people in if, if you can share the information of rice and tell them like we are building a school this yeah. is coming together and it's what it's the minimum investment right it's like yeah it's on, i don't want to say it because i don't remember but yeah. it's on the link we're going to send you it's, yeah it's guys a small and if donation, you can't even do that like you can donate less yeah. it's not about that it's, it's about the energy so yeah. we're asking for the minimum investment but also if that is because i know some of you are in this current reality kind of maybe just you know figuring having it, it your thing and figuring yeah. it out it's okay whatever you can remember when you give when you think you don't have, you receive 10x so of that. More, yeah. That's not waiting till you have for you to give. Yes. Yeah. So for any of you who weren't on in the beginning, we are together with you guys building a school in Africa, sending kids to school. And we're doing this by launching a new training, which we have created called Rise, Rising into Purpose, Power and Prosperity in 2021. And we are taking all of your beautiful donations and uh, giving 100% of them towards the school board. So we get to do this together. We're so doing it together, guys. Still go back and Funny, watch yeah. so you can hear more details, but that's the yes. core of it. If, we're, if you're like, why are people writing Rise? What's that? Yeah. <laughs> so if you're interested, in right that just write rice yeah. and we'll send with you the information exactly. so rice is if you want to do this five-day course that's starting very soon and build the school and build the school and have this online training with us laser coaching if you want to go deeper into that program that Regan uh, it's it started already and it's coming. quantum it started. oh it hasn't started yeah, yeah, yeah. it's coming yet yeah, okay it's in January too oh perfect and quantum flow or flow I mean, quantum, we said quantum, quantum, <laughs> quantum if you flow. want to know yeah. more about this exactly. activation, embodiment, manifestation. Yeah, people are asking, how do I donate within. to RISE? Just write RISE and then Just we'll catch your rise. comment. We'll send you the link and everything. We'll yeah. send you all the information for you guys. Absolutely. Yes. Yay, family. So good, guys. Here we go. So good. <laughs> so good. And yeah, we'd love to hear from you. How are you serving the world right now? In whatever yeah. way you want to share with us, know that we're here to support any project also we're always in that mode so mm -hmm. always reach out always yeah. let us know follow always us on instagram for do good monday right because we're follow always sharing on, on there we want to know what you guys are doing for do good monday and we will highlight anything that feels super in alignment when we totally. have the moment to do that yeah totally guys we're here to support you we're here to rise together so yeah please keep us posted keep that, that communication going remembering we are a tribe we are coming together and and we'd love to hear from you all always so message us you know tag us 
uh, whatever you want to do, just know that you are part of our lives. We love yeah, you so much. So much. And we're, we're, we're with you. We're constantly, energetically connected with you. Uh-huh. All the time, guys, in our meditations, in our activation, we're like, let's bring the tribe in. Let's yes. bring the community. We're feeling, we're feeling you guys all the time. It's, it's, for us, it's hand by hand by the inner work that mm-hmm. we do together. So know you're always in our prayers, always in our meditations. Yes. We're always here seeing how we can serve more and help you more. And exactly. Anything you want also, like, I need to upgrade this or that. Let us know. Hey, Ask guys. Us. Send us a DM anytime. Anytime. Yeah. Anytime. Any way we can help. We, we, we were just talking about people love the cosmic uh, solstice activation. Yeah. We had hundreds of people in. It was so beautiful. It was almost free it was a symbolical price yeah. and then people are asking us to do it every month and we're like we don't know if every month but we're going to be doing that more often because we're be doing more live it's activations it's very and important to do live people are asking activations us to. with you guys yeah it's happening so that's coming to mm-hmm. little activations here and there you know get yeah. ready because we're going to be showing up more than ever this we're year we're fired up we Fire even have up. a studio now, so watch we out. We have a full <laughs> studio with green screen and everything. Get ready. Yeah. We go deep together. Bring your scuba diving all the time. Yes. Right? If not, you can't go deep with us. You need to buy a scuba diving. Okay? Get an energetic scuba, scuba diving, and then you can do everything with us. I thought that joke we'll go- was staying in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> no, You're so mean. It came to 2021. What? Oh my God, she needed to be somehow mean. <laughs> somehow she needed to bring it out. I thought we were going to go without it, but I guess she just had to kick it out like the cows, you know, when they leave, they, they shit at the end before they leave. Really? Yeah. That's how the cows work. You're calling me a cow? No, no, I'm just saying that's how this they work. This is kind of cow style. <laughs> No. <laughs> She's right. It's kind of a burn joke. Let it's me know if you don't like that joke anymore. Let me know no, if you be like, we if love you it, heard Mama. it. Let me know if you we heard it. That, it. Have I said it so much? Do I say it in every live stream? said it pretty much every really? time. Really? Okay. But no, but now it's kind of gone beyond a joke. It's like historic, you know. <laughs> it's like, get your scuba dive. And everyone knows, yeah, the scuba dive. Right, it's they like, love it. I, guys, do you, do you like the scuba diving thing? Like diving deep? Come on. <laughs> it's like poor mom. <laughs> Oh, very nice at all. Stop it. Can we turn your live stream off? <laughs> Type in a yes. Type in a yes. Oh, joke. Oh, there you go. There you go. Regan. <laughs> I think what? you're supporting Regan. <laughs> what? You Crying guys are all supporting Regan. Oh, I uh-huh. can't. What? Regan, you're a goddess. Oh, man. What? <laughs> Upgrade your Legendary. joke. Legendary. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, Husky wins. Okay, I think I have to change joke. <laughs> There's some people right, it's Cuba Rocks. Yes, we love it. I'm sorry, babe. I think we're 50 50. I love it. Uh, thank you, Silk. That's a support Scuba like that. Cows. Oh, that lo- that jokes. That's the worst they've yes. told me, Mark. I know those are the worst. I just learned and about them. Siding with Reagan. Uh, <laughs> and you cute win. joke. That's good. Scuba rocks. Excuse me, there you someone go. Someone on my live stream wrote scuba diving cows. That comment wins. Oh, the comment of the day. <laughs> scuba diving cows. That's good. I like. I got a snorkel. <laughs> I, I like that one. Sorry, I want an upgraded joke. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> scuba is great, babe. I think we're fifty fifty. No, we're we're sixty forty. What? Okay, whatever. She always wins. I'll let her win. It's okay. I'll just do it okay, in my own live time. streams. Okay, there you, you go. You haven't been on live streams I've, enough. She has. Look, she's, who is she? Christina, they have been making five live streams. I, of course, Christina. Yes. Hang in there, Wampa. <laughs> All right, guys. Scuba cows. We got, to, we got to laugh too. That's I'm gonna, good. I'm going to do a purse. Like, really beautiful with like this cow underwater with like scuba diving oh yeah i like that <laughs> and everybody's gonna know what we're everyone talking about everyone will be like about. what and everyone's on these live streams will be like scuba cow scuba cow <laughs> <laughs> that's the upgraded joke is scuba cow okay just so you know so funny okay, okay. all right guys thank you that's so much Thank you so much. We love you so much. Let's connect with the vortex of the group right now. Let's yeah. breathe together, please. Deep breath. And relax. <sighs> Just feel the love we create together. Deep breath. And relax. <sighs> How good does it feel to connect? One more. <sighs>
just feel the difference with those three breaths. Yay. Thank you, thank you, thank you all so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you thank to everyone you. who shared. Thank you for all your love and your comments. You There's so a lot much. of comments, so please have some patience, but we will send you everything. We'll be back. We'll be back. Whenever we'll send the you team all the can comments. Get over all the can comments. Help us. <laughs> Scuba cows and out. <laughs> love you, familia. So beautiful. Familia preciosa. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Best year ever, guys. Best Let's year rise ever. together. Here we go. Best year ever. Yeah. Boom. Yay. Pura vida. Mwah.